Our approach to engineering is unique. Built on almost 200 years worth of history on this particular site, and Pearson themselves have been here for 40 years. Here in Newcastle, we have some fairly unique uh, capabilities that span both the defence industry, nuclear, transport and energy. We have the capability of cutting sheet metal and plate through to machining, through to fabrication, pre-paint treatment, paint through to final assembly. Over the last two years, we've invested approximately £8 million in new equipment and technology. That significantly increases our capabilities. The investment alone in the new Mazak, which is unique here in Britain, and I think it's only one of two machines in Europe, means that we're able to manufacture pieces that are in excess of 10 metres in length. We have over 300 skilled team members and engineers based here in Armstrong Works, many of whom have been with us for decades. We have a very, very uh, comprehensive approach to apprenticeships. We have 52 apprentices now on site that are learning inside an operational factory and will be accredited inside that uh, factory. It's amazing. Like when you're working with them, people who know what they're doing and at their level and at their skill level, they don't mind helping you. They give you that time and patience. Being part of a, such a skilled team is very interesting. You learn something new every day, you meet new people and you get given amazing opportunities. We're very keen and very proud of our role in growing tomorrow's engineering expertise, particularly here in the North East. We're making significant investment in our research and development, particularly around simulation tools and using AI technology. With that new investment in technology will also mean changes into our manufacturing process. We're also hiring a significant number of specialists in the fields of robotics and software. Today we have under one roof critical infrastructure and some unique technologies and capabilities that contribute to all the major UK armoured vehicle programmes, whether it be the Ajax fleet of vehicles, the Boxer armoured vehicle, or indeed the Challenger 3 new main battle tank. Now I think the future battlefields are going to be far more data driven. I think there'll be significant investment in sensors and technology, and tools such as AI will be able to process that data far more competently than any human is able to. Importantly, we'll see, I think, the removal of humans from the battlefield, a far more dependency on remote vehicles and technology, something which we are driving through our R&D programmes. My vision for Pearson Engineering is to put the North East very firmly back on the map as a centre of excellence for heavy engineering, traditional engineering, but more importantly, to make us a centre of excellence for AI and humanitarian efforts in mine clearance.